Hey, what's up, fellas? How we doing, man? Tenali here. Today we're looking at third base. We're going to talk a little third base defense. Looking at Chris Bryant, and um, you know we talk about this a lot with with our third baseman. And when I'm making videos, third base is a different position than you know the middle infield. It's much different than short, different than second. You know, in the middle, a lot of times the ball's hit. You get to read the ball, get around the ball, right left field, right left throw. Everything looks nice and pretty and smooth and fancy and all this stuff. Third base can be a different animal. At third base, sometimes you just kind of battle the ball, right? You got to be able to change directions quickly. Um, you know, they call it the hot corner for a reason. You're going to get balls rocketed at you. You're going to get top spin baseballs. And so sometimes you may go to go in. You got to stop and go back, right? You got to make quick reads. And so here's an example of that ground ball to Chris Bryant, kind of a top spin ball here. He goes to come in, or he stops, puts the brakes on, he tries to back up, feels it. And throws across the infield. Here's the other view. Back, fields it, and throws. So, here's the thing at third base. For one, it's really important. You're trying to, again, you're not going to have the luxury to just get around the ball and, you know, have everything be nice and smooth. You have to keep your feet close to the ground. You have to be prepared to move quickly. And, again, you're trying to pick out the best hop possible. So what happens a lot, I see a lot of younger third basemen, they turn into goalies. They just kind of sit there with their feet in the mud, and the ball's hit, and they don't really know what to do, and then they just get down and try to block the ball off their chest. They try to be a goaltender. And they wear one off the chest, the ball bounces over here, and people say, hey, that a baby, way to get in front of that ball, and the guy gets the first base, right? What you need to think is, I need to keep my feet moving, and okay, I'm going to make a read here. I say, okay, I think... You know, I'm trying to get this ball either on the short hop or the long hop. I'm trying to stay away from that in-between hop. And so if Brian's first read, right, the ball's kind of chopped. And a lot of times we talk about when the ball's chopped, you want to come and charge that ball and get it, either on the big hop or try to get it on that short hop. So that's what he tries to do initially. The ball's chopped, and he goes to get it. And then I think he says to himself, it didn't really, I mean, he chops the ball, but maybe it's soft around home plate here. You know, different fields play differently. The ball doesn't bounce up as high as I think he thought it was going to. So now he stops because he realizes, okay, if I keep going forward, I'm probably not going to get that short hop. I'm going to get stuck in an in-between hop. So now he tries to back up and create distance between the hop. Okay, so here comes the ball bouncing here. And he wants to back up to turn that into a long hop. Because if he stays there, he's going to get an in-between hop and it's going to get past him. So he backs up quickly, gets it on the longer hop, and now makes the throw. So that's the other thing to think about at third base. You don't always have to go in, right? At shortstop and second base, a lot of times you're always going to be moving in. There's times you'll back up, but you're mostly moving in. At third base, there's going to be a lot more times where you can drop step, move back, try to create distance, right? So don't feel like you always have to go in. And if you go in and realize, oh, that's a bad decision, I can stop and back up. And create some distance. So, and here's another view at it here. He goes to go in, bang, he stops, and now he's going to try to create that distance, and he creates just enough. Again, if he were to feel the ball here, if he were to stay here, that ball's going to eat him up, right, if he's right there. That ball's getting into the outfield. Or if he just tries to get down and block it off his chest, yeah, he may block it off his chest, but the chances of keeping it close enough to replay the ball is probably pretty slim. So he's going to back up as quickly as he can, create distance, bang, make the play, turn and throw. So always keep your feet active. Guys that get stuck and their feet don't move, it's tough to play third base that way. You've got to keep your feet active. You've got to continue to try to pick out a good hop quickly. Move in, move back, whatever you have to do. But keep your feet moving. Don't let them get stagnant. So... Hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. I'd really appreciate that. Check out our Instagram, Antonelli Baseball, our Twitter feed, Matt Antonelli 9. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.